While I love Google Classroom, what I don't love is how you reuse assignments. You can only do it one at a time and you have to scroll through the whole list to get there. So Reuse GC is an add-on that I've coded that collects no user data and it allows you to reuse multiple Google Classroom assignments at once. This is an unofficial add-on, which means I have not submitted it to the Google Marketplace. So if you try to find it in the Marketplace, it's not going to be there. The way to get there is to go to alicekeeler.com slash reusegc. alicekeeler.com slash reusegc will make a copy of a spreadsheet template. Again, this collects no user data, and you're going to get a screen that gives you a lot of scary like permissions, but you're actually only giving permission to yourself. You've made a copy of the add-on. You'll notice it shows that you're the developer of it. You're only authorizing yourself. So it is 100% perfectly safe, collects no user data. AliceKeeler.com slash Reuse GC. Reuse GC is my Google Classroom hub. Whenever I create a new Google Classroom, immediately I go to AliceKeeler.com slash Reuse GC and I create a Reuse GC for each class automatically it's going to provide a link back onto your classwork page to help you easily get back to the spreadsheet. So for each class that you have, you're going to want to do alicekeeler.com slash reuse GC. You're going to make a copy of the spreadsheet and then you're going to wait. Sometimes it can take a full minute for the menu to load. So you'll notice reuse GC is going to eventually show up at the top along those menus. And so you can authorize it and it does look like a scary list of permissions. But remember, you're only giving yourself access to your own stuff. Nobody else has access. And then a sidebar is going to show up. In the sidebar, you're gonna to wanna to click on import classes. It's gonna then prompt you, how many of your classes do you wanna import? Now remember, you're going to want to choose assignments from previous classes. So choose enough classes that you know that the ones that you want to reuse from will be listed. If you don't have that many, just go ahead and click OK and import them all. Once your list of classes is completed listing, go ahead and checkbox the class and set the class over in the sidebar. You'll notice the title will change up here. It'll confirm in this box on the first tab that that is the class, and then you can go to assignments. You can reuse assignments from any class they have listed. So you're gonna to wanna to click select reuse class in the sidebar, and it is gonna pull up a drop down list of all of your classes and you're going to want to click List Assignments. In my sample class, when I go to the Classwork tab, you will see that I have no topics in there. So when I reuse assignments from another class, I am offered the option to add topics that is your choice, I'm gonna say yes. And you can see that over here in the sample class, it should start populating. Now I did refresh to have the topic show up, but they will eventually come when you choose yes, you'd like the topics to push. I wanna go back to my Google Classroom and here on the classwork page, what you're gonna see is that it has posted a link to the spreadsheet. It is kept in draft and you wanna leave it in draft. It says reuse spreadsheet for your class. So you can go ahead and click on that and it's gonna open back up when you click on this link, it's gonna open back up that spreadsheet. It does assume that you are able to open in a new tab. So you don't have to try and remember where you saved the spreadsheet. It's automatically linked back in your Google Classroom. Not only can you reuse your assignments, but you can create new assignments. I'm gonna use the menu Create Assignments. 
it's gonna bring up a sidebar and you'll notice you'll have several options here in the sidebar. I make Reuse GC my hub. If I create the assignments through this spreadsheet, I'm able to use this spreadsheet to do other things to those assignments that makes it a lot more convenient to use Google Classroom. So I highly recommend that when you get into your Google Classroom, you find this link to the spreadsheet for that class. It's gonna open a new tab, and it's gonna be pretty easy to create assignments right from the sidebar. So I just leave this open all of the time. So I'm gonna click here, create multiple assignments. Now one of my best, best tips is to number all of your assignments with a hashtag and a three digit number. So one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create 10 blank assignments, okay? And I'm gonna start at assignment number, I don't know, 63. And I'm gonna put okay. And so what that's gonna be doing is creating assignments in the Google Classroom, so you're gonna come back over here and click on this tab. Now up at the top, it's gonna to populate those blank assignments. So I'll usually just make 10 so they're ready to go, and then they're pre-numbered so I know what number I'm on. So you can see that I have assignment number 64, it's blank, I can just go ahead and edit it. So what I don't do is I don't create assignment. I actually wanna just go ahead and edit one of the assignments I've already made through the Reuse GC spreadsheet. So again, there's some benefits to creating it through the spreadsheet that I'll get into later. So I try to make all of my assignments from the spreadsheet. And just right here in this next tab, where I can use the sidebar menu pretty quick and easily. In the sidebar from creating assignments, if you scroll down, you'll notice you have different options. You can create a single assignment, you can create multiple assignments, you can create a question, you can create a conversation, which is one of my favorites. It's create a private comments assignment. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. It's gonna bring up a pop-up that's gonna prompt me. I'm on number 73, and we're going to discuss fractions. Okay. All right, so the assignment has been created. I'm gonna click over here, just do a quick refresh. You don't really need to refresh, but if you wanna see it right away, a refresh is helpful. And you can see that it's posted as a draft. And when I click on it, I'm gonna go ahead and edit the assignment. It says answer in the private comments. This is an assigned conversation. I will give you feedback to your answer and you're required to respond to feedback before the score will be released. So this is one of my favorite types of assignments where I ask the students to answer in the private comments and it really is a game changer for the type of activities that I do with students. This is gonna be one of the reasons that you wanna make all of your assignments from the spreadsheet. When you go to Reuse GC and you show the sidebar, click on assignments, and scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, you'll notice the option to auto grade assignments. So we're gonna select automate. and you're gonna select grade for me. So what this is gonna do is going to start a timer. I only wanna do this for 30 days. You don't want to be grading for you forever. It's gonna start a timer where every couple of hours it's gonna to check to see if anyone has turned in any work. And if they've turned in work, it's gonna to default to full credit. Now it's still in draft form, so you're gonna to need to go in and give them a different score or to return it so they actually get the score, but it saves you a lot of time because at least imports it for you. It uh, puts the score in to get you started. It saves me a ton of time. Now when you're done, you can always click stop automation if you want it to stop doing that. I'm gonna go to the main menu. Now it does it on a schedule. Every two hours it checks to see if students have turned in work, but you can actually do it manually and just go ahead and hit score. Now in this fake class I have, I don't have any students and I don't have any assignments submitted. So I can't show you that, but when you click score, it'll start looking for assignments that have been turned in and giving them a default full credit to save you the time from tediously having to enter five enter, five enter, five enter, five enter, five enter. Five enter.